What's up everybody? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. If you've ever been worried about the advice that you're hearing from people about how to do well on TikTok, especially much younger people than you and you're not so keen on social media to begin with or you're wary about some of the stuff that they're preaching because it sounds maybe shady well i'm going to share with you one thing i really think you should not do because well after i get into it hopefully you'll understand why this piece of tiktok advice can make you fail faster i don't want to see you putting in time and effort into your marketing your business on tiktok only to find that whether it's weeks down the road or months down the road, it was all for nothing. Do you want that? I don't think so. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. Now, if you've ever tried to grow your TikTok account for business purposes in the past, and you may have had growth, but not what you were hoping you'd get, well, you'll want to be sure to check out my video, Why You Don't Need to Be TikTok Famous, where I explain why being supernova big, supernova fast on TikTok might screw you over later. <laughs> and in that video, I even give you what I feel is the true sweet spot for you to shoot for that is far, far smaller than anything that you might have guessed, but will likely still be effective for you as an entrepreneur mom seeking all those important business conversions, including the most important conversion, which is sales. So if you missed that video, be sure to check it out. But here in this video, I'm all about how this piece of TikTok advice can make you fail faster. And what's that advice? Actually, I'll give you a two for one here. One that's definitely a piece of advice that right now is going to hurt you for sure. And the other one, I'll tell you what it is and how it'll make you fail faster later. And then we'll go back and unpack from there because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make someone mad with this video. But if you actually listen to the video all the way through, you'll get where I'm coming from. OK, maybe you won't be mad then, but you'll likely be disappointed. But better to know what not to waste your time with now so that you don't lose your account because it gets shut down or shadow banned until you're digitally blind or you can suffer what I call the curse of the Instagram zombie account influencer, but on TikTok, which I discussed in the video that came up just before this one in the series. Anyway, one of the two pieces of TikTok advice that can make you feel faster as an entrepreneur or mom with a business like yours is publishing 10 to 20 TikToks a day. Now look, I'll admit this is a golden window of opportunity to gain attention and gain brand recognition by publishing your super, your super short 15 to 60 second videos on TikTok. But I would never ever say to publish there once a week and, and you're done until next week. And begrudgingly, I'll also admit that you have to, you need to publish more to TikTok than once a day if you really want to see decent results. Just because it's easy to scoop up the digital low hanging fruit right now on TikTok doesn't mean that you should be lazy about it. You really do need to treat this opportunity like the gold rush that it is and get out there and so to speak, pan for the golden nuggets as often as you possibly can, because that's what every other digitally savvy marketer is out there doing right now, mama. But that said, you are very likely, if you're a typical subscriber of mine, an entrepreneur mom. So you have a very busy life and a very full plate. So if up until now you've heard advice along the lines of you've got to publish like 10 to 20 TikToks a day to be successful, well, you probably kind of curled up and died on that concept because it's like you might be saying to yourself as you hear this advice, Okay, how exactly would you like me to handle all of my daily responsibilities personally and professionally as an entrepreneur parent and then do 10 to 20 TikToks per day as well? Are you on drugs? It's not possible. And for some of you, that's true. And for others like me, I think I can get to TikTok 
10 TikToks a day very regularly. It's possible, but I just have to be diligent about it. But just in case I can't get there or I can't like do 10 every single day and you can't either, does that mean we're just wasting our time or shouldn't even bother with TikTok at all then? No. Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill got to over 120,000 followers on TikTok, and that didn't happen overnight, and it most certainly did not involve 10 to 20 flipping TikTok videos going up a day on that account. And my own TikTok channel has certainly been growing steadily as of this snapshot in time without my going absolutely hog wild uploading to TikTok. Where I think that this piece of TikTok advice can make you feel faster is that it's very, very stressful for an entrepreneur mom like you and me to even consider taking on. And if you weren't a social media marketing coach for like six years like I've been, this particular piece of advice might be just enough to turn you off the concept of having a presence on TikTok at all. But don't go for the head fake mama. Even if you manage to publish to TikTok three times a day, like I suggest, allowing for each piece of content to breathe a bit, half an hour in between, an hour in between or more at least. Well, you're covering your bases nicely, siphoning off of all of that sweet, sweet organic reach. And if that is all you can do, I argue, you're doing swell, you busy and responsible, yet forward-thinking adult you. There's no shame in that game. Sure, you need to publish more than once a week or once a day, but once around every mealtime is not impossible for most everyone watching this video, especially if you consider the fact that the longest TikTok video that you can record in app, which is where I argue they should be made, is up to one whopping minute and that's that. Seriously, three times a day is doable. 20 times a day for busy parents who likely work outside the home too and or bootstrap with other jobs or hustles just to make ends meet while otherwise being up to their eyeballs and diapers and dirty dishes? Um, no. If you try to make even 10 TikTok videos every single day with such a full plate, you might just burn out, get disgusted, get totally overwhelmed, and throw in the towel, which you should totally not do when it comes to TikTok. But of course, the same young bro marketers who would spit in my eye and call me an idiot for even giving you a pass on making 10 to 20 TikToks a day would probably wig out, molt off all of their skin and hair, and otherwise have a full-blown conniption when I talk about another piece of TikTok advice that will most definitely have you fail faster, probably later on down the line, but it's a risk I don't think you want to take. And that involves... Gaming the TikTok algorithm. People usually go on at this at TikTok through the use of engagement pods and or software. Typically, the median age group of TikTok gang lords who give out this information is around the mid-20s, where they've been an adult for a few years, but they're lacking the wisdom to understand why this piece of TikTok advice can make you fail faster especially when it comes to gaining the conversions that real businesses like yours involving the sale of products, services, or both actually needs to succeed. Odds are you're watching this as an entrepreneur mom who is not looking to be an influencer. But if that is the case, you still need to listen to what I'm about to say. Those of us who are a bit older and have been around the block before know from experience that gaming an algorithm is something that can give you a high up front in terms of a dopamine hit of excitement. Look at me grow! And a sense of false security. Look at me! Look at the brand I'm creating, it's so big! But then you're not only chasing the dragon, if you will, to get that next high, but sooner or later that algorithm updates, it changes, the machine learning evolves, it might take weeks or months, but it always happens and then wham, you come crashing down to earth with software that no longer delivers and or is totally blocked. Your engagement pod related work no longer seems to bear fruit like it once did. And there you are all strung out and wishing you could have that high again, but you can't. The owners of the platform that you've been trying to game aren't down with people gaming or cheating the system. They need to have pure data to offer their advertisers, not stuff that's been tampered with. And sooner or later, this stuff is specifically banned via a given 
platforms, terms of service or terms of use, different names, same thing. And then your shadow ban, your account is closed and or you're left with what I called in my last video in the series, the curse of the Instagram zombie account influencer. But in this case, it's on TikTok. I discussed that phenomenon at length in that video, so I'm not going to regurgitate it here too. Go watch that video, get really sober really fast about what it is that software and engagement pods won't get you either now or down the road. And you tell me how that crap worked on Instagram for a lot of people who now have digital tumbleweeds rolling through their accounts that they were otherwise lucky to keep open, only to have next to nobody care anymore. All that time, effort, money, and bandwidth wasted too. Yuck. Don't believe me? Every algorithm that could have been gamed that's been around longer than a minute ends up evolving to the point and or being programmed to the point that it sniffs out and punishes bad actors and two-dimensional efforts. Take Google. You could have gained that galore back in the day, but people lost their businesses and their livelihoods overnight every time some cute sounding update that was totally devastational in terms of its effect went live. Panda, Penguin, and so on. How about Facebook and Instagram? Oh yeah, like I discussed in the last video, there was a time that you could have gotten away with a lot on those platforms, but now, not so much. Mega successful entrepreneur Dan Locke in a blog post released on January 20, 2020, made it clear that this sort of stratagem doesn't work for long and isn't worth it. I quote, quote, when the Instagram app, for example, made some changes to its algorithm, what happened? Many brands and influencers noticed a disappointing drop in their user engagement. This caused sales to drop for many businesses, unquote. Look, Mr. Locke agreed in that blog post I just mentioned that while it's tempting to game the system, game the algorithm, etc., at the end of the day, it's not the highest converting way to gain sales. And like I've said before, you can't pay the bills with likes or followers alone. You need to get conversions, which of course include sales. YouTube has, for quite some time now, outright banned engagement pods, indicating in its most current version of its terms of service, under permissions and restrictions, at paragraph or number six, and I quote, you are not allowed to cause or encourage any inaccurate measurements of genuine user engagement with the service, including by paying people or providing them with incentives to increase a video's views, likes, or dislikes, or to increase a channel's subscribers, or otherwise manipulate metrics in any manner. Boom. Instagram and Facebook began hardcore cracking down on this stuff too, like I mentioned in the last video, in around 2018. According to multiple sources, including Social Media Today and ITP Live, in and around May of 2018, as just a first pass at the bad actors out there, 10 large groups that assisted hundreds of thousands of people to falsify their engagement rate were punished. And that punishment included people losing their accounts. Good! Cheaters don't deserve to win. What's so bad about engagement pods, you ask? Well, three things, actually. Number one, they mess up the data that the owners of the app rely upon to make decisions overall and or use to provide advertisers so that they can make intelligent decisions when spending their money. Number two, they create an inauthentic sense of community and interaction on an influencer's account. And if you're using engagement pods or software, <laughs> I use that term loosely, so it's all fake, which totally lends itself to the whole curse of the Instagram zombie account influencer phenomenon that I discussed in the last video of this series. Number three, think about it. Think about what it takes to be in an engagement pod. No, really think about it. The time it takes to follow and follow back, to watch videos and write comments on them, when honestly, nine out of 10 times, if not all 10 times, this is just content you could have cared less about. Now think about everything you need to do with your so-called spare time as an entrepreneur parent. Wouldn't you rather be with your family? Enjoy some self-care? Actually work on your business instead of in your business? business doing rote, meaningless stuff just to manipulate an algorithm that's just, in about a few months or so from now, not going to allow for any of this stuff to continue anyway? 
So the first piece of TikTok advice is going to cause you to fail faster now because you'll get overwhelmed, disenfranchised, and or burnt out. So that's no good. The second piece of TikTok advice is most definitely going to cause your fake kingdom of dirt to collapse sooner or later. So why just why not just focus on the customers you're trying to market or woo and just accept the fact that you might not reach a million people in a year or less, but be okay with that because like the age old sales maxim says, when you try to sell to everyone, you end up selling to no one. Want to know how to find your customers on TikTok right now? I thought you'd never ask. Make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next part of this TikTok series, that'll show you how to actually find your customers on TikTok. Yup, if you go on TikTok for business purposes, you need to find those customers so that you can create content that attracts them, optimize it properly, and create a community through follower engagement on TikTok. Again, make sure you hit that notification bell and select all so that you can follow along with this entire TikTok series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And of course, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.